Tenth objective, complete hub upgrade six. Note, there are no notes. <laughs> okay, there's no notes. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, we're continuing to work towards getting our hub all the way upgraded, and we are working on hub upgrade five. So that means we need uh, concrete, uh, cabling, and iron rods. Um, isn't that what we needed in the last one, though, too? Let's see. Concrete cabling. Oh, no, the last one we needed concrete cabling and plates. This one is rods. Gotcha. Okay. Now I'm now I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, so uh, we should have the concrete. Uh, well, we probably we already have the concrete in our inventory, so let's put that in the thing. Uh, right now, uh, we can throw a few rods in there, but we are going to need to make 50 cabling. So we can make a total of 10. So we need more wires. Let's get these made first. All right. We should have everything we need here. And let's upgrade the hub. Congratulations. You have unlocked building minor mark one. Building, storage container, hub feature, additional biomass burner. Tenth objective, complete hub upgrade six. Note, there are no notes. <laughs> okay, there's no notes. So we do have to do a upgrade six. Uh, which will get us our space elevator and our standalone biomass burner. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, more of the same stuff. Let me get this all gathered up, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to do the final upgrade here. All right, guys. We have all of the stuff that we need to do what I think is going to be our final upgrade of the hub. Upgrade 6. Let's do it. Congratulations. You have unlocked building space elevator building biomass burner heart biomass motivational message congratulations you succeeded in every provided task on behalf of fix it incorporated i thank you for your current and future service you're welcome additional knowledge the hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along fix it approved protocols Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. Good luck. Well, thank you. Okay. I think that finally finishes the onboarding process. Uh, well, maybe the, we have to do the space elevator before onboarding is all the way done. I'm not really sure. I don't think so, though. Yeah, no, it's done because we're now in Tier 1 here. Okay, so... Uh, base building, logistics, and field research. I think logistics is the one we want to go for first. Um, but before we get too crazy with that, um, we gotta, uh, we got to we're gonna set up some actual miners now um, and really get things cranking. So I don't have to do this manually anymore. So let's see. We're gonna need to make copper cable or copper wire rods and plates for the space elevator no i'm sorry not for the space elevator for the milestone right the space elevator is going to require um concrete plates rods and copper wire okay so let's get the copper going first to make the miner we're going to need eight, or, or sorry, ten concrete and nine plates. Let's grab another little batch of concrete out of here. Um, do I have, no, I don't have any more stone on me, or limestone, so we'll have to grab some more of that in a bit. 
So let's just make... Uh, no, we've got that made. Let's actually do this. Let's add you to the to-do list. There we go. Um, need more iron plates. So... Grab those out. Whoops. Those out of there. Get another batch of iron going here. Okay. That's enough plates. And we have we have the miner that's already out there. Um, we're also going to need to run power out there too. So... You're, you're burning flower petals at the moment. So let me pick some more flower petals uh, so we can get this other biomass burner going. Sagebrush. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is... I'm Actually, I'm going to go get another load of limestone first because uh, we're going to need more concrete. You have 70 flower petals, you have 69. We'll just throw those in there. Okay, I want enough stuff to make a couple more of these. So let's make a few more rods. It's more concrete. And what else? Uh, what else do we need for that? We need copper wire. I'll make a little more of that. And we need to make... Well, I've got 10 cable. Yeah, we probably should make a little more of that, too. Let's make about 20 cable. Okay. What I'm going to do here is... Connect... You to you. Why is this red? It's got flower petals. It's burning fuel. Hmm. I don't know why that's red. We got lots of power. That's weird. That is weird. All right, so what? Let's um. We don't have any more room on that power pole there. So let's connect you into here, and I'm gonna put you right there. And then we're going to run another connection over to here. Right to there. That should work. Okay. Now we're going to pick the miner up here. And we're going to make our first... Mark one, with the output pointing towards the, uh, yeah, towards the base. Power that up, and it should start automatically mining copper. 60 per minute. Okay, good. Now what we need to do is uh, build... A conveyor belt just to bring the ore a little closer over here. I mean, or or we could we could make the wire and bring the wire over here, but I think I think I'd rather just bring the ore over in this general vicinity. Maybe over kind of into this area here. 
So we're going to need plates, concrete, and um, rods for all of that. All right, um, I made up a bunch of plates um, and concrete and screws and plates and reinforced plates, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so hopefully we have enough to do what we need to do here next. Um, I think we'll build the first constructor and um, storage bin for copper wire probably right about here. All right, so let's get ourselves a constructor and we'll turn it so it's pointing more or less at the refiner there. And we're also going to make a storage container. And that into there. We need some uh, power. Yeah, let's um let's stick you just right here. I'll just put it kind of in line right here. Those birds are weird, man. They sit there with their mouth open. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to catch some raindrops or something? Maybe that's exactly what he's doing. I don't know. All right. Let's get this going. We want you to make copper wire. <clears throat> and then we just need to run conveyor belt over here. And it'll go right to there. And I'm going to raise it up just because I don't like it clipping through the ground like that. All right. So we should have copper ingots. Oh, no. We got to... Okay, hold on a sec. I forgot. We got to put the a refiner in. Actually, here. No, let's put the refiner over here. Yep, we missed a step. Um, okay, or I'm sorry, not a refiner, a smelter. So turn uh, you this way and line up with there. Line you up there and Miss oh, I'm missing cable. Crap. Alright, let's go make some more cable. I think I'll actually run this line off of that pole. And we'll... Because we, we only have one more slot on this one. Um, And now we have to just set this to refine copper. There we go. Okay. So this will start making um, copper wire for us and storing it in here. And that takes care of the copper for the moment. Now we're going to do um, something similar for plates and for rods. So let's go ahead and uh, pick up you and you. And we want to pick uh, the miner up. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put a Mark 1 here, and we'll just kind of turn it to go that way. And what? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll put both of those guys there. And... We should be able to run a connection to there and one to there. And they'll, they'll get started mining. All right, now for here, we're going to put down a smelter, line it up. And I'm going to actually uh, load it up with 
some of this iron ore first though. And run a power thingy off of there. We'll do the same thing on this one. Put down a smelter. And once again, we'll load it up with this extra iron that we have first. That way we can use it. And we'll run power from there. Okay, let's take a look at our power grid. <clears throat> Maximum is 39. Consumption is 31. Okay, so we're getting close. <clears throat> to being maxed out on those. So what we might need to do... How are you doing? You only got 19 flowers left. You got 51. Um, why don't we take... We'll take that wood out of there. But I'm going to have to go get some more flowers here pretty quick. Now, we can make... Uh, can we make the... Yeah, we can make a standalone biomass burner. Okay, we should actually do this. Because uh, this is going to produce more power than the ones built into the thingy anyway. Um, And I think for now... Uh, where do we want to put this? Let's just put it right here. Okay, we're going to need another connection. So, let's do... <clears throat> excuse me. Let's just do a pull here. And... We'll... Line it up with there, I suppose. I really like that new feature. Okay, I'm going to run and pick a whole bunch of flowers. Be right back. All right. So, um, we'll put the flowers in here. We'll put the wood in here. And we have more flowers in there. Okay. I just grabbed wood, too, because it's the same as the flowers and just about as easy to come across. Put another load of limestone in here. Keep that going. Okay, so now um, we've got a decent amount of power. Hopefully enough to do the rest of what we want to do here. Um, oh, we don't actually need you running anymore. Let's just take you down. At least not right at the moment. We will later. Okay, so I need to make... Uh, four reinforced plates to make two more constructors. Alright, let's make a constructor here. You're going to be right smack dab in the way, aren't you? Of course you are. Um, okay. Let's just move you over to here. Take you down. And yeah, I think you were coming off of here, right? You, you can go back to here. You can't connect more lines to this connection. Wait, what? Oh. You're already hooked up. Okay. You're not hooked up. That's what the problem is.
Okay, so you're connected, you're connected and powered, you're just stalled because we need to give you a place to go. Alright, we're going to set you to make plates. And you also need power. There we go. And then a storage bin. So if you look at an existing item that you want to rebuild and you just press the middle mouse button, you can copy it. Nice little handy thing to do there. Um, flip you around. And that will store the plates for us. Okay, now we just need to do the same thing for the rods. Uh, so, constructor here. Power off of you. Set you to do rods and put a storage bin in there. Uh, too steep of an angle, probably. Come out a little further. Wait, what the hell's going on here? Oh, do I have it turned backwards? I bet you I have it turned backwards. That's probably what's going on. Okay, that's not backwards. Let's just take it a little further out. Oh, we're missing iron plates. That's what the problem is. <laughs> that's what the deal is. Well, here, let's grab some out of here. In that case, let's move this back a little closer. We'll put it right... And we'll put it right there. Okay. So, we have our copper wire production cone. We have 293 of those already. Um... Just about enough for the logistics. Three more to go. I know we have some in here too, but we are going to need those for other things. Um, let's see. Crouch. Yep, that's the little scooch underneath things key. Okay, so let's put, throw those in there. Um... Yeah, so we just need to wait for the rods to build up and the plates. And in fact, I think I'm just going to put those in there now because there isn't really anything else I want to do at the moment until that's finished. We'll refresh uh, this guy here. Got a little bit of extra copper ore left over. <laughs> Couldn't quite get underneath that one. I took my teeth out instead. All right. I'm just going to temporarily stop that um, and let this smelt down so I can add the rest of that copper into there just to just to get rid of it. Especially since we don't need anything more from this production line at the moment. Not that that matters, because it'll still continue building up. Okay, so we need 150 in total, minus 31. So 119 more of these. All right, I'll bring you guys back when uh, all that stuff is ready to go. I think what I'll do in the meantime is go out and... Um, just pick some more biomass. Okay, we have the plates that we need. Let's grab those and 
Um, it looks like we're getting close to having enough rods. Oh, no, actually, we do have enough rods. Okay. Uh, we also learned solid biomass, too, I believe, didn't we? Uh, well, yeah. The Well, the first stage of it. So, um, we should be making this. Oh, we can't... Okay, it looks like we can't use flowers for this, though. Okay. Oh yeah, this is this is going to be way better. Let me um well here, let's do this. So we got those and those. There we go. All right. Logistics baby. Let's launch away. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Get ourselves a little screenshot. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Now that we have splitters, mergers, uh, lifts, and all that, and that's gonna that's gonna change, be a game changer for sure. Um, okay, so. What is the, I think the next thing we want to work on is build the building um, milestone, base building. Uh, and for that, we're going to need all of those items. We should probably get a concrete production line going, but I'll tell you what, though, let me. Um, why don't we put another constructor up? And I'll have it work on just making biomass, solid biomass for us. While we go get a concrete, little concrete production thingy going. So we're going to need uh, two more reinforced plates. Power grid shut down because we ran out of fuel and something. It was you. Uh, okay, let's put um, this biomass fuel in. So that's 6.67 per minute. That's still not... Oh yeah, no, that is, that is better than wood. Right, okay. So let's pull that wood back out of there. And we'll put the flowers in there for the moment. Because I want to turn this wood into biomass too. It'll be more efficient. How are you doing? Uh, you're doing pretty good at the moment. Okay. Alright. So let's put this constructor right here. Um, I think I'll actually turn it this way. And we'll put a storage down. And I'm going to set you to make... Let's have you finish off whatever leaves I have first. Which uh, is not a lot. And we have an... That one's full, that one's full. They're all full. Okay. So let's do this, our new little trick here, where we connect you to there. And we connect you into there. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix-it freighter re-entry complete. Why does that... Why does that say no power? It's hooked up to this. No power. Uh, are we? Whoops. Oh, I 
guess we had to reset the fuse. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so, let's grab whatever leaves I have left over. Uh, oh, well, I guess I don't have a... No, no, we got a decent amount there. Okay. And we'll stick you in here. And we'll let that... Turn that into the biomass, and then when that's done, then we'll put the wood in there. So right now you're running on flowers, and you're running on actual biomass. Okay. So, um, while we're kind of waiting for the rest of this stuff to build up over here, um, I want to get concrete going. And I think... Here, let's go over here and take a look-see. Did I make, um... Two reinforced... Oh, I did, but I just used them. Okay. Oh no, you know what though? We don't we don't need a, a refiner for this. We just need to put the miner itself down. And then I think yeah, I think let's let's move this over a little closer to the limestone though. Maybe we'll put it right about here. Um production constructor. We're going to need uh, another power pole, so let's actually connect that to there, and I'm going to run it right about there. Do we have enough to make a miner? Yes, because we're going to pick up the portables over here. And, you know, we're, we'll worry about efficiency and ratios and all that kind of stuff later. Right now, we're just yeah, getting the basics going here. Okay, let's just pick you up all together, and we'll pick you up all together. And we want to aim for that power pull, more or less. Uh, turn you this way. Probably going to need another pull. Ah, oh, shit, we're out of cable again, man. All right, let's just put a pull down right here. And yeah, right about here is good. And go make some more cable. That's the next thing we're going to do, anyways, or very quickly here, uh, to get a, a cable production line going now that we have a splitter. We want you set to concrete. I want to put a storage right here. We'll hook up the power and then we'll hook up the conveyor. There we go. Bring you as far over here as we can. Right there. Let's lift you up in the air a little bit too. And now we're out of plates. Of course we are. Okay, you're done making biomass uh, out of wood. So now we want to change you to... Uh, wood, or I'm sorry, out of leaves, so now we want to change it to wood biomass. Okay. Hello, Mr. Balloon Elephant Dude. Okay, let's bring you up here. Good enough for now. Okay, so now we got concrete production going. 
So let's load up everything that we currently have, which is almost everything. We need 39 more plates and 20 more concrete. I think I'll just uh, at least make the plates. Okay, put those in there and see if we have 20 concrete made yet. We have two. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, right. I got a bunch of limestone. Um, okay, let's do the same thing we did before where we uh, stop that and load up our extra in here until we get rid of it. But I'm going to make the final 20 just manually here. And there we go. Here we go. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. guess that's all Ada has to say. All right. So the final milestone that we need to do for tier one is field research, which gets us map. Uh, see, they're giving us that a lot sooner now, which is nice. Personal storage box, beacon. I thought they, I thought they already removed this, or maybe that'll happen in one oh, they, they change it, you know, to like a, a, a map marker thingy. Extra hand slot, that's going to be nice. Yeah, okay. So now we, we need to get a... In order to do this one, we need to get screw production going. Um, okay, so... I think, though... Actually... Yeah, we're out of time in this episode. So um, I'm just going to end the episode here and then pick up pretty much right where, le where we left off in the next episode and continue on. Why are those things so framey? I don't remember them doing that in update five. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. It's like it's doing some down downgrade on the performance in the distance kind of thing. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway. All right. Yep. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye bye.